Here's some professional logos I just created for some clients using artificial intelligence. This logo, this one, and this one. Now professional designers like myself are creating logos using artificial intelligence. But the trick is how do you customize and edit the logos once they're already created? I'm gonna show you how you could change the graphics, the colors, and the text so they're custom to you and your logo looks absolutely stunning with some free, simple online tools. So let's get into it. So the first thing I do is I go over to bing.com forward slash create to get my image Images. You could also use Midjourney, which is really cool as well. You have to pay for Midjourney. I like Bing because it does the job and they give you a bunch of free credits. They give you enough credits so you could make a lot of logos actually. So what you want to do is just go to Bing forward slash create and it's going to create a login. If you don't already have a login with Microsoft, you could just create it for free. So do that first. Then once you're in here, you're going to see something like this that gives you a little prompt and you could go ahead and add text like create a logo of whatever you want. So I just put in create a logo of a cat with sunglasses and with text that says 180 cats and it gives you something like this so this is not the ideal way to do this because you cannot change the text here and you can't change the colors and so on and you want to make sure that you could change all the text notice the text is kind of goofy and weird looking so I'm going to show you the right way to do this right now so here are some cats that I got created for me I put in cat with sunglasses drawing for logo black and white white background so I wanted to make sure it's a drawing ish looking image I wanted to have a cat with sunglasses and I want to make sure it's black and white so it had good contrast and a white background so I could remove the background and add it to my layers. I also did that right over here with a lion that's really cool as well. So what's great about these image AI creators is they're all 100% unique but the trick is to make sure it's a black icon and here's why. So I'm going to go ahead and download the cat that I like this one right here and I'm going to click download and I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to logo maker l-o-g-o makr.com without the E and I'm going to click start my design there. I'll add this link in the description below. Just click start my design. It's going to open up a new tab like this. But what's really cool about this is you could upload this image just by dragging it onto the canvas like this and it's gonna convert it into a vector icon. So let's go ahead and do that. What a vector icon is, is it will take this and it converts it into a technology where you could change the color of this and so on. So I'm gonna click finalize and I'm gonna click icon recommended, this one right here and finalize and it's going to put it on the canvas just like this but let me show you what's really cool about this is now i could take it and change its color i can manipulate it put multi colors in it and so on and so forth this is so cool also it's a vector format so it'll never get blurry as you can see if i open up this one right here and i zoom into the original it will get blurry and pixelated you see this but logo maker just made it so it doesn't get blurry so if i zoom in it's not going to get pixelated this is so cool so so the next thing I want to do is I want to add some text to this so I can layer it and I can manipulate this layer. So 180 cats. And what's cool about Logo Maker is it has all these really nice fancy fonts and categories that you could search from. I like this font. It kind of goes well with this right here. You could take the corners and drag it and then move it around here. And then I'm going to go ahead and find something that looks good in terms of the colors. So I like this darkish blue. I'm going to copy this color right here by pressing copy and I'm going to paste it on this so it has the same blue so let's go ahead and do that paste it there there you go now it has that exact blue now this is okay for a logo but I really want to spice it up and make it look better so the way I'm going to spice it up is by putting some shapes in the background like I could go to this shape thing and I could actually put a shape in the background I can make this bigger and I could take my layers and I could put it behind something already like that and then I could color it the way I want to color it or go to gradient colors and color it like this which is really cool see now this really spices it up so I could take this and you could say okay that looks good but let's add a circle around the circle meaning let's add a border around that I'm gonna go to outline and I'm gonna add a border around this just like that. Maybe almost the same color blue, just like that. That really kicks it up a notch. Look at how this cat pops out versus this. Kind of looks really cool. Gives it some kind of dimension as well. Now let's go ahead and add another background by going to the shapes here and I'm gonna add another square to the background just to really make it look like it's squared off. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna choose a color, maybe this color, I don't know. Uh, then I'm gonna send this to the back by taking this and pulling it to the back like that But I also want to curve it so it has this round edges So I'm gonna go to styles and I'm gonna round the edges a little bit and the, for the outline I could add an outline of my choice any color I want 
maybe I want it darker or lighter or whatever but you could go to the outlines and you could um, add a different type of color. But I'm just kind of playing with this right now. Obviously, I would spend a little bit more time on this, but this looks awesome for an AI logo. Now you could just start manipulating anything within this for yourself or a client. I could even add another tagline by clicking on this. All right, that looks good. I'll put that under this, make it a little smaller. Maybe I want the text a little wider, spacing of the text. There it is. Now I'll make this wider. There you go. There you go. Look at that. That is really, really awesome. And this is a professional logo. When you're done, all you have to do is press save logo right here. And it was going to convert this into a high resolution file and for printing as well for the vector. So all these files are vector. When you just get an icon here, they're not vector. So you can't really print it on big billboards, banners, t-shirts and stuff like that. But when you convert it and put it in to logo maker it converts it all into vector format so everything from that cat to the the words are all vector formats meaning it will never ever get blurry and that's why i use logo maker l-o-g-o-m-a-k-r without the e.com to convert the stuff and then start adding layers to this and when you do save it it's going to create a url right here just copy and paste that i want to see your logo put that logo id in the description below i would love to see what you made and i will talk to you on the next video video.